Tá <laughs> So that's the well done, Tomás. A year out of minor, and what a day. What a day for Galway. It's a great feeling, God. This is the, to be honest, all this is the things you dream about, like out the backyard and tipping around, or like sunny evening Saturday, half six. There's no better feeling than meeting Cork in a bloody All Ireland semi final. Um, geez, I don't know, it was tough going. They 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 opened us up there for the last few minutes, the first half, and we saw what they could do. Like, but geez, a fierce effort from every one to fifteen. Now, geez, we knew we knew they were well well capable of getting the scores, but we had to, geez, we had to put it all into them and then. Thank God, I can't believe it on this. I, I don't know what to say like this. <laughs> you, got, you got a great start with your own point inside 12 seconds, I think it was. I suppose that sort of showed the mm. focus and the, the, de the determination, I suppose, in lots mm. of ways. And you had to keep a shape and you, you couldn't give away cheap frees and that was something you didn't do throughout the game today. Yeah, no, we knew they had a dangerous free taker and uh, that if they, got, if, if they got softball in around the goal, like, that they'd take their scores no bother against Kerry. I think Kerry were a bit... With Lexi Daly still on the on the marking in the half back line, full back line. So we, we knew we had to tighten up there, but uh I know we just we just said we wouldn't stand back from the very start and we go from from the once off and the legs were feeling a bit tired there for ten minutes ago, but geez, a few boys came on and made the difference and I can't believe we got over the finish line and it Jesus. It, it it helped you surely that people were writing you off before you came into this game at all. Yeah, God um we knew, we knew like the it's a strong Gala team. People people are kinda saying Gala football is is that a bad point? But we knew we knew we, we were well capable. We knew that a, a good team would it would take a good team to beat us. And uh, and Jesus, one to fifteen. Now we uh, every man I think even even Boiler he won't like me saying this, but I think Boiler uh, even put the work in there going back for a uh, for a while. But uh, I know forty Johnny, Tomas Fahey, everyone that stood up and. God, it's great. It's all Ireland final. What the things you dream of, like. Well done, Tomas. Great to have the start again. So Tom Banish Dorling Freshen. Alan Mulholland, Alan Cohorthus. Thanks very much. Uh, to be honest, I hoped. I hoped for it, but uh, if you really uh, dig deep down, I wasn't really expecting it. We'd hoped that we were as good as them, but I went down to Parky Rin for the, the Munster final against Kerry, and uh, and we came. The three of us went down in the management team, and uh, and it was very quiet all the way back, uh, at least to Mallow anyway. So we we. We knew they, they, they have a fantastic side. They have a fantastic side, but we kind of hoped that that uh, that we had a, a good side as well. But today they showed we do. And the plan that you put in place, I mean, you only yourselves know what you were asking of the players in the week leading up to the match, but it just seemed to click perfectly, didn't it? I mean, you guys, all of whom, the 15 who started, the lads you brought, who brought on, they all stood up to the task. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they did. Uh, we've been doing that in fairness now uh, throughout the year against Sligo and against Roscommon. Um, it's just been a good, happy environment, uh, uh, and uh, everybody gets on with each other. And when they get on the pitch, they, they've put in very, very good uh, shift to work. The whole lot of them. So, um, you know, they, they, we just pick the team. The lads go out and do it themselves. And we, we've got a, a bunch here that, that are working very hard for each other, and we're willing to, to to really grind it out today, which is what we had to do. And you got the magic score, the goal. Ten minutes to go. What a time to get it. 
It was. I was delighted for me, old Boyle, because uh, he had... He had yeah. yeah, it was delighted for me, Hull. Let's see this. We'll bring you over. Yeah, yeah. To get a closer look at yeah, yeah. It was a great yeah. finish. I mean, it was a great move as well. E exactly. We moved it up, uh, at least from the, from the back line anyway, and uh, a few guys got their hands in it. Adrian Murphy put it in for, for, for Mike there and banged in the back of the net. It was great as he was going through. I think I was saying, tap it over the bar, tap it over the bar, maybe to myself. I think it might have brought us level or something, but um, uh, he, had the, he had the courage to go for a goal, and, and Mike had, had missed one or two during the day, so it was great to see that he still had the confidence to, to go for goal at a crucial time in the match. But, of course, the job was only three-quarters done at that stage. You had ten minutes to hang on in there, and if anything, I mean, it looked like you guys, despite all the running and all the chasing and all the harassing and all the... The, uh, the physicality that you had to bring, I suppose, to today's performance. You seem to have it all in the legs, even right the way up to the 60th minute. Yeah, we, we, we've been training hard. We, we were in the gym before Christmas, and, you know, we've been working hard since then. So, uh, no, we are, we're, we're very fit at the moment, but you would be. Uh, and, and in a lot of the semi-final, 10 minutes to go, that's not a time to, to lose it in your legs. So, but it comes, you know, you can have all the fitness in the world, but the lads dug deep. It came from, from the heart, really, at the end. And, and like you said, it did look like that... Uh, that we were going to score in the end uh, rather than them, which was a great feeling. To have. All right, cohort the person, and have a good time in the final. Gurmila Magat, Todd, Banish Dora, Highland, Sutra, and Onan, Yov, John Cleary, Contact, August Lartling. John, thanks for coming over. It's never easy at this sort of a situation. What's your assessment of what happened to Cork today? And I suppose initially we were beaten by a better team on the day, a team that showed a bit more hunger and a bit more drive. And, uh, you know, we went four points up in the second half, and I still didn't think that we were you know going to push on from the very start we were just that bit lethargic and uh, Galway showed a bit more drive a bit more determination and uh, then in the end there we had chances we didn't show the composure that maybe we could have got a draw out of it and but overall you know we can have no complaints uh, Galway just pushed on there and, and were the better team at the end of the day. The, the lethargy that you speak about is that in any way uh, a residue of what that 22 point hammering of Kerry in the Munster final that maybe lads just weren't as focused as they might have been coming into today's game yeah well we had done our utmost uh, we knew that we were facing a huge challenge in Galway and um, you know maybe we had peaked for that match and maybe there wasn't uh, enough left in the tank there at the end of the day you know when it came to it I think maybe Aidan Walsh going off uh, did have a you know and that's not making excuses or anything uh, around the middle of the field there he was a loss and, and uh, you know that that's you know they broke away up and, and, and they got their goal and that was the difference at the end of the day and but we can have no complaints uh, I said Galway showed the hunger they showed the drive uh, which was maybe missing our game tonight all right Camille Magic John Cleary as Lartling and Sutton and you have a Shannon banished